the consistency among the, the new BioRad uh, precast gel system. Uh, they're very highly reliable. The results based on feedback from postdocs and students in my lab have been outstanding. Everything we've tried with them has been reproducible to the fullest extent. The new BioRad gels did really well. We need to look at hundreds of genes and thousands of genes and tens and hundreds of thousands of combinations. So it's high throughput. It's how fast can I look at something. And fast can either mean the number of samples I'm looking at simultaneously, so more lanes on a gel or faster throughput on a liquid chromatography. It can also be how fast can I run the gel. Um, you know, how, how many of them can I stack up side by side. So anything that I can do that allows me to look at more samples quicker, that's, that's what I have to get to. The results based on feedback from postdocs and students in my lab have been outstanding. They've been very happy with the fast run times as well as the high resolution they've been getting along with the fast run times. In fact, uh, the first time they ran it, they actually ran the gel out because they were not expecting such a fast run time. Uh, so they were quite pleased with it and I was pleased with the results. So the Lamely gel is, is a huge advantage uh, for me because I don't have to use a specialized uh, running buffer to run the gel. So that's the downside of the Invitrogen UPage system is you have to use a specially formulated uh, running buffer for those gels. Whereas uh, in our particular lab, our technicians uh, will make up a running buffer so I can just grab buffer off the shelf, uh, throw a Biorad gel in the apparatus and, and I'm ready to go. So that's, that is a time savings. Uh, we found uh, the gels to be very reproducible in the uh, times that we have used it. Uh, we've gotten excellent uh, scores of uh, the proteins and we were able to identify more proteins uh, than on comparative gels or in that case also by a, a gel-free approach. The gels were easy to use, but more importantly is that the, the uh, migration pattern of gels was very high resolution. This, the runtime was short, and finally, the sensitivity of the gels following transfer for Western blood detection was exceptional.